I need to contact headquarters somehow. Hope there's a way out ahead. Suppressor seems to be fine. No need to worry. Where am I? Your suppressor has been replaced with a new energy cell. Feeling better? Much better. And you are? That's Shirley, and I'm Zeke, her brother. You saved me? Of course. We found you passed out behind the shelter and... Your suppressor was out of power, so we brought you in and fixed it. This is Astra Shelter, area code HT501. What's your name? And what are you doing all alone in the mountains? I... I don't know. I can't remember. This person was all bruised up and passed out in the mountain. Probably a lost scavenger. A lost scavenger? Well, tough luck. The Aberrants built a nest in the Machine Cemetery. You're lucky we found you alive. You can stay here until you recover your memories. We did a full scan of your body. I... think... Go get yourself cleaned up. You look like a mess. Shirley, go show the newcomer to Celine. I've already informed her. Got it. Hey, newbie, this way. Oh, and your weapon is on top of that crate. Don't forget to pick it up. Am I right? Did both you and Zeke grow up here? We have been living here since we were very little. There weren't a lot of people back then. Everyone chipped in to build this place little by little. Hmm? Of the 
servant. Mia's my assistant. Zeke found her in one of the ruins. But its language model is a little buggy, so it talks funny sometimes. I apologize. I will do my best to make my speech intelligible. Oh, you're fine, Mia. <laughs> Come with me, please. We should not keep Miss Celine waiting. Battleship up ahead? That's the Bethlehem. My brother said it's been here for 50 years. 50 years? Yeah, when the cataclysm took place, an Omnium explosion destroyed an entire fleet that was patrolling nearby. Only the Bethlehem managed to land on the island. The shelter was built around its remains. Hey, that... So, you're the one they rescued from outside? Hello, I am here to... You don't seem to be older than Shirley. The outside world must not have been kind to you. Celine, let's help our newcomer get settled in. Yes. Yes. Nothing like some brand new clothes, am I right? Thanks for your help. Anyway, now that's done. You can really show the newcomer around the shelter. See if anything needs help. Leave it to me. I think she likes you. This is the control room. You can monitor every nook and cranny of the shelter here. Morning, Shirley. Morning, Uncle Paul. Is this the one you rescued? How are we feeling today? Much better. Thanks. Staying alive is all that matters in times like these. Consider yourself lucky. Ugh, Uncle Paul, is that alcohol I'm smelling? Uh, <laughs> I might have had a drink or two last night. I was just going to retrieve the environmental monitoring data. You're still hungover, aren't you, Uncle Paul? <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. Wouldn't want you to fall into the water again like last time. I'm detecting some very powerful interferences. These guys came prepared. Huh? You want to do it? That's great. Take the chance to look around the shelter, and you won't get lost with the drone guiding you. during her most recent flight. Um, that... Uh, that was an accident, I swear! Collecting plant sample data. The database hasn't been updated for a while, so stay focused on the task, alright? Done? Let's head on back then. 
collecting geological sample data. That's enough data samples. Good work. Come back and I'll show you what the other places look like. I'll take the data to Alfred. Anyway, it's all thanks to your help today. Analysis. Long-term consumption of alcohol is hazardous to physical health. Please follow your... Mm-hmm. You said it, Mia. Uncle Paul. I... all right. All right, moving on. I'll take you to meet Fenny. today got someone to introduce to you hello oh i heard about you how are you feeling zeke replaced the cells in the suppressor nothing to worry about oh i almost forgot this is fenny she's like my big sister but she's only older than me by two days she's the best chef around you must try her food i can cook you anything you want as soon as the space rift is fixed then i can get fresh ingredients fix the space rift no biggie. We can do that. Let's go! <sighs> About the space rift. It's best if my brother doesn't find out, okay? <laughs> Log. Records show that the shelter had eight accidents this month, and Shirley was responsible for... <laughs> Cut it out, Mia! TMI. So, this is our space rift. Um, I don't actually know. Uncle Paul says it uses Omnium to break things down for transmission, and reassemble them at the other end. Huh? So am I still me if I was broken down and reassembled? I... Oh, well, um, I, I used it a couple of times, and I still feel like me. So how are we going to fix it? The energy conversion filter's broken, that's all. We can just replace it. That's simple? That's simple. Uncle Paul taught me. Could you help me grab the new filter over there, please? I'll check on the operating program. The backup filter is in the little building over there. Do you see it? Just install the filter, and we're done. The back Will you help me push the filter in? I think something might be stuck. Ha! Got it! Easy as pie. Now we just need to test it to make sure it's working fine. Test? On what? On us, of course. But you can only travel from a space rift to another space rift that you've activated. Seeing that you only have access to one space rift, leave the testing to me. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Be right back. Everything's fine. I'm here at Banshee's port and... Ah! What are watchers doing here? Get away from me! No! I hate bugs! Ah! Hostile units detected. Transmitting weapon data. Prepare for battle.
on. You're safe. Phew. Look, there have been a total of nine incidents. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really scared. How did you run into it? There's something wrong with the Space Rift's locating system. I was transported to Banjas Beach, and that's where I saw them. The locating system's infrastructure is really high-tech. I don't think even Uncle Paul can figure it out. Perhaps we can ask Fra <gasps> Franz for help. Oh, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Franz from Hykros. He's super smart. Come on, let's go find him. Warning. Space Rift malfunctioned. Normal operations suspended. Mia should stay here to warn others. Good point, Mia. I'll leave it to you then. Careful. Don't let my brother know that we're sneaking out. Is the person you're looking for just outside of the shelter? Not much further. Come on. See that huge boulder over there? The one on the other side of the Blue River. Yes, I see it. But it looks like some sort of projection? Zeke said it's the entrance to a facility from the old Federation days. They have a Seleocrim system set up to disguise it as a boulder. What's in there? I don't know. Zeke doesn't allow me to get close to it. He says it's dangerous. I bet there's something super important in there. Hykro specially sent Franz here just to investigate it. Get ready. We need to get to the other side. Show you. What is it? It's a long way to get down this cliff. So, how about a shortcut? Don't worry. Just do what I do. It's totally safe. I promise. Hold on. You're not going to... That was fun, wasn't it? We're gonna cross the river. You do know how to swim, right? How about a race? First one to the other side wins! Okay, I'm counting down. Three, one! I'll wait for you at the end. Take your time in the water. <laughs> Franz! Oh, well, if it isn't little Shirley. It's unlike Zeke to let you come this far out. Zeke's busy, so here I am. We need a favor. There's something wrong with the Space Rift's locating system, and you're the only one who knows how to fix it around here. Oh, no problem. I'll take a look on the way back. We were sort of thinking if you could help us maybe... now? We're kinda in a hurry. Well... but I'm trying to fix this deconstructor. Deconstructor? Is that the thing that can eliminate the simulacrum system? That's right. However, this antique stopped working just when I needed it. Will it be difficult to fix? It's just a short circuit, but some of the internal components burned out. It'll probably take me some time. But Fanny is trying to get to Banjas. We're running out of food in the shelter. <sighs> Fine. I'll go fix the spacecraft and come back to this later. Stay here, and don't cause any trouble, okay? Don't worry, you know me. know what's inside too, don't you? If we get this deconstructor working... This deconstructor is an old model manufactured by Banjas Tech. It's not from the looks of it. I think the power's... So what should we do? Well, someone should stay here to watch over things. Can you please go to the Astra Omnium Tower? There's a poor friends, so just mention my name and it'll definitely... But hey, it's dangerous to be far away from the shelter. And I know! Take my jetpack! You'll get there way faster! Uh, just... Use the jetpack to fly over difficult terrain. Give it a shot. That's the Omnium Tower, but the surrounding area belongs to the Hyenas. Be careful. <laughs>
Shirley's. She sent me to get help from you. Is she in the trouble? She's all right. We're just trying to fix a broken deconstructor, and we're hoping to borrow your backup power source. Understood. Take the backup power supply. It shall symbolize our companionship. I shall also synchronize the latest geographical data of Astra with you. My new friend, synchronizing data. System data has been granted. Did you? I couldn't contact you just now. 
I got the power source, but there's something I have to take care of. I'll be back as soon as I'm done helping the scrapper. Okay, stay safe. Stand by. Geographical scan activated. Planning route. Stand by. Geographical scan activated. Stand by. Geographical scan activated. The gatherers are returning. I'm most grateful for your assistance. Smoothly? I hope the power source is still intact. I have faith in you. Now I can repair this old hunk of junk. Oh, you must be hungry after all that tough work. Franz left his cooking pot here. Why don't you get yourself something to eat first? You're back! Did everything go smoothly? I hope the power source is still intact. I have faith in you. Now, I can repair this old hunk of junk. Oh, you must be hungry after all that tough work. Franz left his cook here. Why don't you get yourself something to eat first? Want a bite? I'd love to, but now's not the time. This rain came out of nowhere, and time's a wasting. Look, I've already replaced the deconstructor's power source. It doesn't seem to be working. Oh, I know what's wrong. I found out that its internal projection device is broken. It's probably the prism inside, but I know what to do. See those water cores over there? We'll use one of them as our new prism. Oh, okay. Let me go grab one then. The water cores are really jumpy, so be very, very careful. Come closer! Yes, like that! Like this? We did it! We did it! Look! So this is what it really looks like. Shall we go inside? It's too risky. We'll be fine. I told you it's dangerous out here. I just wanted to help. Help? You're only giving me more trouble. But I... There is no but. Go back immediately. Without my permission, you can't... I... I... Surely! I'm sorry, Shirley. She... Hey, no need for all that. It's just some sibling squabble. That being said, I'm impressed that you two managed to fix the machine. Saved me a lot of trouble. It's not my place, Zeke, but surely might be more capable than you think. Maybe you can have a little more trust in her. I understand. I should go talk to her. Maybe we should let her calm down a little bit. How about we let those two kids have their chat first? You're right. I was too harsh on her earlier. She probably doesn't want to see me right now. Please take care of Shirley for me. It's raining. I don't want her to catch a cold. You can count on me. Um, Zeke? I know. I know. I shouldn't have acted recklessly and made him mad. Let's apologize to him after the rain stops. Mm. Thank you for being here with me. Let's do it. <sighs> Are you feeling better? Zeke, I... You're a big girl now. I think it's time to step back and let you make your own decisions in life. Make my own decisions in life? Franz is right. Surely, you're not a child anymore. You have your own aspirations. I... 
I want to become someone like you. I want to help the shelter. You're looking at a tough road ahead. I'm not scared. I know what I'll be dealing with. There's so many things you don't know yet. The world doesn't stop even when life kicks you down to the ground. Then I'll... I'll get right back up again. What was that? Look out! What happened? Shelter's warning system fail? Mia, take everyone ah! somewhere safe. Huh? Affirmative. Please stay safe, Shirley. Serena, take Shirley to the upper deck. No! I'm staying to help! There are too many of them. There's still a group of unactivated Omnium guards at the central station. We have to- time is of the essence. We'll try to hold them back while Shirley and you activate- the Control panel is up there. Defense is secured, but a large wave of Ravagers are attacking the shelter's front gates. Follow me across the bridge. We'll send those Ravagers packing. The barrier of the front gate is down. her suppressor to create the shield, but that exposed her to excessive amounts of Omnium radiation. We stabilized her condition with some medication, but we can't say for sure if she's in the clear. The shelter's a mess. Those Ravengers raided our warehouse. Celine and I will have to clean things up. Zeke's with Shirley right now. You should go see her. She's in the infirmary. She's out of danger, for now, but it still doesn't look good. This is all my fault. Can she be treated? 
The shelter's only equipped with basic medical equipment. We've done all we can. Celine is trying to contact some friends in Banjis to see if any of them can help. I'm going to talk to Franz. He's got some connections. Maybe he'll have some ideas. Please take care of Shirley while I'm gone. I'll be back as soon as I can. I overheard you guys. Zeke, he's gone to see Franz, right? Well, how is it? Give it to me straight, Doc. I'm so sorry. I made everyone so worried. I... Sorry. I'm feeling a little hungry. Could you get me something? <laughs> Anything, really. Thanks. Shirley? Shirley! Where'd she go? In her current condition. I need to find her now. Shirley, what are you doing out here? I... I just wanted to see the stars. I'm sorry. I just... I just want to be alone. Just for a little while. When we were little, Zeke used to take me out here to gaze at the stars. I like it here. It's so quiet and peaceful, like all the bad things in the world just didn't exist. I wish things could be like back then. Forever. I... I didn't want to make Zeke sad. Shirley, are you okay? I... what am I gonna do? Shirley! I'm sorry, Zeke. This was all my fault. It's not your fault. Her condition's worse than we thought. I should have been watchful. We did a full checkup on her. Her conditions are not stable and may take a turn for the worse at any time. Celine's friends are coming to help, but they won't be here at least until tomorrow. We don't have that kind of time. <sighs> I need your help again. There's someone. Someone who may have a way of saving Shirley. There's an abandoned lab near the northern coast of Astra. Just send the word there. Also, Please don't mention this to anyone else in the shelter. I'm sorry. I can't tell you the identity of that person. You're the only one in the shelter who can help me. This place looks like it's been abandoned for quite some time. I wonder if anything still works. This data... Chrono Chambers? The coordinates look like they're near the shelter. You should at least wait until someone's home before you visit. I'm very sorry. I'm here to deliver a message, and didn't mean to look through your things. Why are you here, stranger? Zeke's sister was seriously wounded, so he asked me to look for help here. We will take care of that. Please leave if you have nothing else. Hello? Hello? <sighs> I really hope they can help Shirley. Everyone calm down. I'll figure out a way. Shirley's not a monster. I'll make her better.
Did I hurt someone? Surely. I don't want this. Zeke, you know what you have to do. That's the way things are around there. If one of us changed, the closest to them will have to put them down. At the very least, they can go with some dignity. None of us wanted to see this happen to Shirley. But Zeke, he... Paul and I will stay here to keep everyone calm. As for Zeke... I'll go check on them. Zeke, she's suffered enough. She's not dead yet. Can't you see the reality of things? She's already... Don't jump to conclusions so easily, Franz. She will be given a new life. <laughs> a new life? As what, a clone? Droid? Or maybe something like you? Isn't it rather superficial to cast judgment on what life is or is not? It is time. Let us go. Zeke, I pray you know what you're doing. I'm gonna bring her home. Oh, I guess you saw all of that, huh? Who is that with Zeke? Just an old acquaintance, nothing more. She said there's still hope for Shirley. Is that true? <sighs> From what I know, aberration is irreversible. The only thing we can do for the afflicted is to send them on their way, as humans. But Shirley... I don't know how they're planning to save her, but even if they did, would Shirley still be the same Shirley that we knew? You look like you have something to say. And here I thought you were going to keep it a secret. You knew? I should have known that's what Zeke would do. So what did they tell you? I didn't exactly get to meet them. I only requested their help via a communication device, and they said that they would. I also found something that looks like an experiment log. It mentions something called the Chrono Chamber. The Chrono Chamber? Ah, oh, you sly fox. How could I have missed it? Who's Zeke looking for? The leader of the heirs of Ida goes by the codename Sage. Even within their organization, he's shrouded in mystery. If he really was on Astra, everything that's happened so far would be the least of our troubles. <sighs> Let's head back to the shelter. We have to tell them about what's happened. What? Zeke took Shirley and left with someone. Why didn't you stop him? Stop him? You know him better than I do. <laughs> So who exactly was it? The heirs of Ida. They claim that they can save Shirley. For Zeke, the choice was clear as day. Heirs of Ida? The crazy bunch that tried to overthrow Hykros? How did they get mixed into this? Zeke is hiding something, isn't he? Hmm. You found something, didn't you? I found some of Zeke's things that may connect the dots. I left them on the table over there. <laughs> Ha! 
I can see it. Your sorrow. Your sadness. Your weakness. I can see all your self-pity. Cursing your cruel fate. But calamity is not without hope. The root of the curse has long been buried. It is etched deep within your bones. Inundated in flesh and blood. You have all forgotten how the world used to be. You have all forgotten. This world belonged to humanity. But mortals are puppets of desire. They raised the Tower of Fantasy, grasping at Omnium from above. How grand, how ridiculous. Those on the ground cower in the shadows, while the pestilential aberration runs rampant, and the fools behind this sit high above in Hycros, in their foolish attempt to rebuild a new order that is merely a trap, and the rest of humanity are but flies. Lost lambs, have you sincerely repented? When will the savior you call for arrive? Knock hard at the gates of fate. The fertile soil will be sowed with your own hands. Heirs of Ida, there is no need to mourn the dead. The gates of heaven are never closed. I will witness every sacrifice with my own eyes. They will bring about a new order. And this world will be reborn from ashes. No doubt that person in the video is the mysterious sage. Looks like Zeke had been in contact with the heirs of Ida for a while now. The two kids are Zeke and Shirley. Their parents were members of the heirs of Ida. What? Why hasn't Zeke mentioned this before? He probably just wanted a normal life. After witnessing what happened to their parents, I'm sure Zeke wouldn't want Shirley and himself to share a similar fate. But now, Shirley's become the heirs of Ida's greatest bargaining chip. They want Zeke. And Zeke would do anything to save his sister. Could the heirs of Ida be behind the Ravager's attack? I can't say for sure, but I know that they're willing to do anything it takes to achieve their goal. We must get Zeke back. We can't let him be a pawn of those lunatics. Leave it to me. I'll find Zeke. The heirs of Ida are not to be taken lightly. You don't have to do this. They saved my life. I'm only returning the favor. Enthusiasm alone can't find Zeke. If you need help, you can start with the Chrono Chamber mentioned in the Lab Journal. It was one of the secret facilities built by Hykros half a century ago. The ruins outside the shelter is another. It was abandoned after the Cataclysm. Who knows what's down there? If you're going in, be careful. I'm going to Hykros and inform them of everything that happened here. Maybe they can help. Anyway, I'll see you. Overheard your conversation. Will you really be able to bring Shirley and Zeke back? Mia can sense the internal emotional circuits surging. <laughs> Shirley and Zeke are important companions. Alas, I am a malfunctioning smart servant. But if I may be of assistance in any way, please take me with you. All right, let's go and come home together, all four of us.
I found a slumbering smart servant. Master, you have finally returned. Apologies, it appears my identification system is malfunctioning. Identity verified. First generation smart servant. B -b -b peanut Greetings. I am waiting for my master. My master left me here to await his return while Ida conducted the second regression. This is day 17,682 since his departure. Log, day 17,682. Approximately 48 years ago. Where is your master? That information is protected under the Retrospect Project Protocol. My apologies. Preliminary inspection suggests you are in need of maintenance. Failure to do so will result in... Thank you for your concern, but I shall stay here and wait. If you are intent on entering the Chrono Chamber, please be careful. I have detected prominent signs of aberration within. Creator left a relic here. I hope it will be of some help to you. Mew. Entering hibernation mode. Is this place the Chrono Chamber you mentioned? What does it actually do? Peanut has entered hibernation mode. It cannot provide more information. Inside. Wait for me by the entrance. Affirmative. Please stay safe. activated the tower beneath our feet. Normally, Hykros will only start channeling energy into this tower in winter, when the shelter's energy supply runs low. But today... Don't worry, Paul. It may just be a glitch or error in the distribution grid. That's simple? No, no, no. It's just my guess. I'll have to ask those old geriatrics about what actually happened, of course. Hmm. So it's Hykros again. I never bought into their whole saving the world spiel. Hm. And that's why it's so hard for you to make friends, Paul. Hey, newbie, how about you go with Franz? Me? Truth be told, I don't trust him. Well, all right. We shall go to Hykros and get to the bottom of this. It's also a great chance to see the rest of the world. 
Celine still needs my help at the shelter, so we'll be waiting to hear back from you. Relax, Paul. I'll take care of our new friends here. I'll activate a space rift straight to Hykros, but it only allows one person to go through at a time. You go ahead. I'll be right behind you. Don't worry. I've sent word to the administrators at Hykros. They know you're coming. Astra Shelter, area code HT501. Log, Mia enters High Cross territory for the first time and engaging information exchange with other smart servants. Welcome, young one. I'm Klima, commander of the District 9 Executors. Franz informed us about why you came here. Unfortunately, we don't have much information about the abnormal energy flows of the Astra Omnium Tower. Everyone at the shelter is worried. Could it be a mechanical malfunction? The heirs of Ida tampered with the energy transmission program. It's causing the five Omnium Towers to send their stored energy back to the Central Tower. The Central Tower has a finite storage capacity. Exceeding it could dangerously overload the system. As a safety precaution, we had to vent excess energy to the surface at the cost of causing a certain degree of radiation damage. This is not a permanent solution. Franz submitted a report detailing that you triggered momentary space-time distortions during combat. Is that true? Yes. Time would sometimes flow extremely slowly around me. We call this phenomenon Fantasia. It's a human-generated temporal distortion in a localized area. It's usually an ability only exhibited by executors. The Executor Order is an elite unit formed to handle all forms of Omnium disasters. Its members are genetically augmented to possess a certain degree of control over the time dimension. I found info related to you in the Executor Order's database dated half a year back. You and your squad went MIA during an operation. I... I was an Executor? Indeed. However, we still don't know what happened to you during the last six months. But as you can see, we're facing many difficulties. The heirs of Ida are planning something, and the issues with the Omnium Towers need to be resolved urgently. Hykros has limited manpower in District 9 currently. We need your help in dealing with the heirs of Ida. I have reported your situation to Archon Elric in District 9. You should go see him. Welcome to Hykros. I'm Elric, Archon of District 9. Greetings, Archon Elric. Captain Klima has informed me of your situation. I'm delighted to see the return of one of our esteemed executors. Franz said that you lost all your memories upon your rescue. Is that so? Yes. I can't remember anything that happened before then. The report also mentions that you possess excellent combat skills. It looks like you have retained your past training and skills. Which is to say, you can still perform your duties as an executor. I have no doubt. However, a full inspection is still required before you return to active duty. We will log your data and upgrade your suppressor with the latest modules. Understood. I am ready. Are you ready?
like you two are getting along fine. these geezers been treating you? Franz? Hey, have you told them everything? Not entirely. Same old you. Everything's a secret, yet you still want people to go out on a limb for you. There is no confirmation of what happened to our returned executor. We found an unknown string of virus in their suppressor chip during the inspection. The virus tried to infect the executor's orders database. Thankfully, we found it in time and isolated it. But as soon as it was discovered, it initiated a self-destruct sequence. We did not manage to discover its origins. Oh, is that true? You really lost your memories? We did a full inspection. There is evidence that someone wiped their memories. Aside from that, we find no abnormalities. Elric, could it be that incident from half a year ago? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I will assign someone to get to the bottom of what happened to you. I hope it does not damage the trust between us. Don't catch your breath just yet, Archon. <clears throat> There's still another grave matter at hand. Eason? He's an engineer at the Forward Outpost and has been with us for six years. What about him? What? Eason? How sure are you about this, Franz? I checked the visitor's records. Eason just left the outpost lobby. The security records can show us his most recent route. Let's see what he has been up to. Activating Mimesis. Reconstructing Eason's tracks. A bomb. Keep going. There might be more than one. We checked all the surveillance records on Eason and didn't find anything else. The lobby should be safe for now. However, we lack eyes on the outside of Hycros's dome. I just received word that the third bomb has been found there. Outside the dome? Do you mean this huge egg thing we're in? I need to find him now. Franz, we failed. I used the chrono switch. Failed? You mean, you... Eason planted three explosives in the lobby and on top of the dome. I didn't manage to disarm them all in time. Well, can't get any worse than that. <laughs> right? Do you have the location of the explosives? I've uploaded the info to the database. Good. 
I'll have someone disarm the one in the lobby. You two take care of the one on the dome. It's over. It's all thanks to you. Not too shabby. Franz, what exactly happened with the Chrono Switch back there? Anyway, we shouldn't talk behind his back like this here. Now that everything's been resolved, I'm not needed here anymore. Don't worry. I'll explain the issues regarding the Omnium Towers to Paul. What about me? You? You have your work cut out for you. Listen, if I were you, I wouldn't trust everything they say. Just make sure you don't disappoint the Archon. You have a bright future ahead of you. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. Go pick it up when you have the time. Head upstairs. You'll know it when you see it. Well then, I'm off. I'll leave you to it. Thank you for everything. You must have a lot of questions. Franz didn't explain it to you? He probably just wanted me to do the heavy lifting. I'm sorry. I'm unable to give you the answers right now. And it is not because I do not trust you. You have more than proven yourself in the bomb crisis. The fact of the matter is, time retracement is a sensitive subject and a closely guarded secret even within Hykros. I hope you understand. As for Zeke, Hykros will relay the latest intel to you via Franz and provide whatever assistance we can render. In exchange, I hope that you will help us solve the problems regarding the Omnium Towers and the heirs of Ida. Excellent. I still have matters to deal with in Parliament. So, this is where we part ways. I hope that you can live up to my expectations. I assure you, I will explain everything to you in due course. seem to be plotting something in the shadows. Was Zeke's choice really worth it? Zeke is the victim here. We must stop the heirs of Ida's conspiracy. Yes, I promised Hykros that I would help them resolve this crisis. Oh, and Franz said he left me a gift. I wonder what it could be. Greetings, Cobalt B. Hmm, who might you be? Franz asked me to pick something up from you. Franz? Yes, I remember now. Here's the Falcon he ordered from Banjus Tech. It's yours now. Falcon? This is... for me? This is the best that the Vehicle Research Department has to offer. I suppose. According to the manual, it runs on pure Omnium, has carbon alloy body and magnetic brakes. 280 horsepower with a torque of 300. Speed up to 230. Oh, just 230? We might be able to increase the engine efficiency by 20% if we tune the transmission a bit. Or... Uh, never. Well, it's not an easy vehicle to drive. Don't get too cocky before you're familiar with its capabilities. I'll be careful. Thank you, and goodbye. Don't mention it. I happen to have something to do at Hykros anyway, so it was no trouble. Let's test out the Falcon. <laughs> Hello, Gerard. I'm heading back to Astra to find Franz. 
By order of the Archon, you have been granted permission to use the Hycro Space Rift, and are free to enter and exit as you wish. The records show that Franz's last destination was the Astra Space Rift. You might find him there. Safe travels. Oh, you made it. I was just explaining the situation to Paul. Hycros wants to shut down the tower, right? Yes. Archon Elric asked us to find a way to shut down the Omnium Tower, but what should we do exactly? Oh, Elric. Leaving such an important job to us. I've checked the internal structure of the Omnium Tower. It's a mess. It'll take some time to rearrange the energy pipeline. Oh, wow, Paul. You know how to stop it? Cut to the chase, Franz. If you have a way, just spit it out. Simply put, we need to find something called Astrum. Have you heard of it? Astrum? What's that? It's a kind of artificial Omnium crystal and a very efficient energy storage medium. We need it to power the cooling system inside the Omnium Tower. But unfortunately, after the Cataclysm, the technology to produce it was lost. It won't be easy to find a complete piece of Astrum. Luckily, I have some friends who deal with things under the counter. They shared some valuable information. There's a fighting competition held around here, and the organizer seems to have put up a piece of Astrum as the reward. A generous prize indeed. So you're saying we should try to- Well, you know I've said it before. Fighting really isn't my forte, so... Good luck with the Astrum hunting. Leave it to me. I'll win the competition. Welcome to Mega Arena. The competition is underway. Everyone's gunning hard for the Astrum. I haven't seen you before. Is this your first time here? Want to give it a shot? All the competitors here are the best of the best. But if you're interested in betting, that's reserved for regulars. Sorry, rules are rules. Glad to see another competitor. Please see Digsby, the arena manager. He'll make the necessary arrangements. Hmm? This is Mega Arena. If you're not competing, then watch by the stands. A new contestant? Digsby's busy. I'm in charge today. Rules? I'll just tell you the most important one, because I hate chit-chat. Anything goes, just don't kill anyone. There's also something about no private fights. Yeah, can't remember. You do you. I'll give any rule breakers something to remember. You got that? That's it. A new round is about to start. Come check it out. That one over there with the dual blades is a rookie, just like you. She's up against a veteran called Meepo, who isn't actually that good. <sighs> Itching for a fight? Get ready, because you're next. Your opponent is the winner of this match, and it looks like it's gonna be Katie. Do your best, rookie. Next up, an all new mega fight. In the blue corner, we have Katie from Badges. In the red corner, we have a new contestant from Astra Shelter. Let's get it started! What an excellent match! The new contestant from Astra is your winner! Not bad. I thought you were an amateur. Guess I was wrong. Your next opponent is... Max. He's won a few times before. He's pretty popular. You want to talk to him? You can find him in the stands before the match. Stop looking around. I'm Max, your next opponent. Hey, what's with that look? I don't care who you are or where you're from. Be ready to beg for mercy. You asked for it. Finally, we have the semifinals. Who is your favorite? In the red corner, our tenacious newcomer. In the blue corner, we have Skillfest Marcus and Adam, his AI companion. Let's get it started. Won 
the semi-final too, huh? Good work. But the final match is gonna be difficult. It's a three-way brawl, and the last one standing wins. But today's not your day. Your opponents are the Brutal Brothers. They've got a trick or two up their sleeves. They'll work together to eliminate the third contestant, to make sure that one of them wins. I hate to say this, but it's a long shot for you. You can talk to them before the match, but I'm warning you, don't start anything. <laughs> You're up against us in the next round. Too bad. Prize is ours. <laughs> I'm gonna win it again this time and be the triple champion. You get it? It's mine. You're the poor fool up against us in the finals? The Brutal Brothers are gonna chew you up! What? Gordon still wants to win again? It's my turn, he promised! How dare he double-cross me! I'll deal with him after I'm done with you. Just you wait! The anticipated final is about to begin! Will the Brutal Brothers win again? Or will the Dark Horse cause an upset? Let's find out! Let's get it started! Winning the championship on your first try, that's really something. I would love to fight you. Oh, almost forgot. Here's your prize, the Astrum. All yours. It'll fetch a good price out there. That's it for today. My work is done, and I'm out of here. Congratulations on the victory. Franz is waiting for us at the Omnium Tower. We should get this to him quickly. Franz, we have the Astrum. Whew, that was fast. And here I thought you'd have trouble getting it. Now we just need to link it up with the Omnium Tower's control station and activate the cooling system. We've already quieted, but that was only the first step. The heirs of Ida are still lurking in the shadows. Shutting down the other four towers won't be that easy. You and Mia should go back to the shelter and say your goodbyes. Banja's Omnium Tower is the closest from here. I'll do some recon on it. Hello, Executor. I'm Dr. Joaquin. I'm responsible for daily maintenance of the Simulacrum system. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue like this, but we're in a spot of trouble. Our database was breached, and we lost some very important data. Merrill's Simulacrum data has been unable to sync. We've traced the source of the hack, and have determined that it was the heirs of Ida. Our data units are equipped with protection programs, but the heirs of Ida are fully capable of cracking them. We hope you can help us to recover the stolen data before they do. According to the information we've gleaned so far, the stolen data unit is currently in the Wolan Snowfield. That region is frozen all year round and is plagued with high-intensity radiation. The ecological environment there is... dreadful. As such, Mr. Shudi will go with you, the new smart servant of Hykros. It features a specialized function which can help you survive the harsh radiation there. I have uploaded the information on the stolen data to Shudi. He will guide you to the target location. 
This data is very important. We're counting on you. Doctor, please rest assured that I will complete the mission and lead the Executor to the designated location. Let us prepare to depart. Increase speed. We're in enemy territory now. Enemy activity 200 meters ahead. Eliminate the enemy while I explore the area. Congratulations, Executor. You have successfully cleared all of the enemies. <clears throat> Don't look at me like that. It's very impolite. My daily tasks are data processing, information recording, data collection, sample analysis, vector construction, logic calculation, associative reasoning, and so on and so forth. Obviously, the fight option is not among my available tasks, so protecting myself when I encounter danger and protecting the doctor's data is my prime directive. Let's move forward. We're not far from the target. The magnetic field in this area is interfering with the signal. Therefore, I can only ascertain the approximate range of the data's location. Executor. Upon recovering the data, the energy resonance rate was too high and generated a link between you and Merrill's Consciousness 7 data. You seem to be strongly affected. Now that you're all right, let's continue with our mission. The doctor explained that there were three copies of the stolen data. Merrill's Consciousness 1, Merrill's Consciousness 7, and Merrill's Consciousness 9. We only recovered Volume 7, where the detector reacted just now. It appears that the data has been scattered. Now we will begin expanding the search radius. Data shows that Merrill has a twin brother named Victor. He went missing in one of the wars, and Merrill has been searching for him. Warning, severe detector reaction. This is an emergency. Please follow me. Energy detector indicates something at 10 o'clock. Area ahead scanned. An enemy minefield has been located, along with Merrill's Consciousness 9. The enemy's minefield is very dangerous. I will go first and find a way through. Please avoid the guards the best you can, Executor. Please avoid the guards the best you can, Executor. in. No 
sign of victory. We have expanded the search area. Meryl's past again. Her data energy resonance rate is quite abnormal. Let's continue the recovery mission first. We have just locked onto the position of Meryl's Consciousness 1, initiating regional radiation index monitoring. The radiation index of the area where the data is located exceeds the standard recommended limit. In order to ensure your safety, I will need to move to this area to set up a protective barrier. Please wait here for further notification. Unstable signal. Data recovery interrupted. Unstable signal. Data recovery interrupted. Please take a break. Retrieval has been interrupted. It appears that I'll need some more time to reattempt the retrieval process. Reconnecting to Merrill's Consciousness 1. Reading data. Matching successful. Retrieving Merrill's Consciousness 9 again. I don't know if you will resonate this time. Warning. Abnormal resonance rate. Warning. Abnormal resonance rate. We haven't seen each other in a long time. Can't you at least smile? How do we end up in the same group anyway? Was that because of you, Meryl? Wait! Are you actually worried about me? <laughs> Maybe I came out first. I'm pretty sure I'm older. All of Meryl's data has been collected. Please return to the doctor. Welcome back. Meryl's data recovery was successful. Thank you for your cooperation. Dr. Shudi will now analyze Meryl's data and compile a detailed report afterwards. It mentioned in Shudi's report that you experienced an energy resonance with Meryl's data and established a certain degree of connection to her memory. That feeling... it was so strange. This phenomenon has happened before, but this is the first time I've seen it trigger multiple times in such a short time span. Well, Victor is missing while Meryl continues to work in Hycross. I also searched the Executor Order's archives for relevant records, but the results were basically the same. In fact, although Meryl is also an executor of Hykros, she's really not someone who you could call a gifted communicator or socializer. The contents of her file are relatively scant. I had to sort and supplement a significant amount of data. On this point, please allow Shudi to provide a supplementary explanation. According to Hykros records, after Victor disappeared in the Wollen Snowfield, Meryl went to the Snowfield to search for him many times after work. Yes, and so, Hykros came to several conclusions. First, Victor may have died, and his body was dragged away by mutated creatures. Second, Victor may still be alive, but he cannot contact Hykros due to some unknown complication. And the third possibility, the most worrying of them all, is that Victor may have been taken away by the heirs of Ida. Of course, all these are just speculations. We don't know the actual truth for the time being. <sighs> Returning to the subject at hand, I still have concerns whether the memory resonance between you and Meryl will somehow affect your body. Ah, not to worry. It won't harm you in any way. If you still have doubts, you're more than welcome to get a full physical checkup at the infirmary. Thank you for your cooperation. Franz told us everything. You're headed to Banja's port, right? I know you're working for Hykros now. 
but you'll always be one of us. Zeke only did it because he had no choice. I just want to see him and Shirley back safe again. Sorry, I left you with the toughest job. We can't possibly repay you for everything. This thing with Zeke, it's in your hands now. I will find them, I promise. Follow the Blue Creek downstream to reach Banja's dock. Be careful. What's going on here? The hyenas are at it again. I need to help that person. are getting bolder to think they'd come so close to the port hey congrats huh what for the bounty for the white lightning it was personally issued by president colador searching database still no results for Co colador the president of banjas industries that doesn't ring any bells search complete colador president of banjas industries we can ask him about the area's Omnium Tower. So you're not here for the bounty? Ah, then you must be here for the Grace Day Festival, right? If that's the case, then you're out of luck. There probably isn't much to see this year. Why is that? I've been here all day, and I haven't caught sight of any merchant ships entering the port. Just last year, it was packed around this time. Did something happen here? Probably the bandits. They've been real active recently, and must have scared the merchants off. Wonder when President Colador is gonna do something about it. Come on, it's not safe here. Let's get back to the port. Hey, this is your first time here, right? How about a tour? I'm Hilda, by the way. We're from Astra. This is Mia. We're actually looking for someone who might have been here recently. Zeke from Astra? Can't say I've seen him. There are a lot of new faces around town because of the festival. It's gonna be hard to find him, I'm afraid. But I can tell my friends to keep a lookout for him. The more eyes, the better. Come, follow me. Hey, long time no see, Hilda. Theo, why are you out here without your bodyguard? What if your illness acts up? <coughs> Inside for too long. I need some fresh air. Don't worry. I always have my meds with me. You're the heir to Banjis. You can't afford to be so careless. You won't hear the end of it if Mr. Colador finds out. Father, he's been up to his neck with something important lately. Barely he even has enough time to see me. Oh, is Mr. Colador busy now? I was actually hoping to get some help from him. <coughs> Oh, can I be of any help? Not for me, but for my new friends here from Astra. They're looking for a man called Zeke. By the way, I got attacked by white lightning on the beach. Luckily, my new friends were there to save me. Hello, I'm a friend of Zeke's. He may have been here recently. I'm Theo, a friend of Hilda's. A pleasure to meet you. Theo's dad, Mr. Colador, is the president of Banjas Industries. If anyone here could find Zeke, it'd be him. <coughs> I'll go talk to my father. If your friend is indeed here, we will find him. Theo, how many times have I told you? You need to inform me before going out, and never alone by yourself. Hurry along back. The doctor's still waiting to do your routine checkup. If everything's fine, you can still go to the festival tonight. Only if the doctor says you're fine. 
And this is? This is my new friend from Astra. Nice to meet you, President Colador. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Colador. As you can see, I'm very worried about my son's condition. Please look after him when you're together. Father, they saved Hilda from White Lightning. About the bounty you put out earlier. Oh, you defeated White Lightning? <laughs> Young people these days truly surprise me. I don't have the reward with me right now, but don't worry. I'll send my people to contact you later. It can be installed in all types of weapons and analyze combat data on the fly to help you find the opponent's weaknesses. It's a new development, and we're looking for testers. You seem like a good candidate. Father, one more thing. We're actually looking. All right, Theo, that's enough for now. I have some things to attend to. Let's talk again tonight, okay? Yes, Father. Hilda, about President Colador. Ah, Mr. Colador is a good person, but he can be quite stern at times. But I guess that's to be expected for someone in his position. Don't worry, Theo will talk to Mr. Colador about finding your friend. The Grace Day Festival is tonight. Maybe the one you're looking for will show up there. Speaking of which, what exactly is Grace Day? Well, Banjus began as just a small remote settlement and life was tough. One year, there was a famine caused by pests and attacks from monsters that almost wiped everything out. By some good graces, eventually, a merchant ship stocked with food docked here and saved everyone. That day then became Grace Day. And, as you must have guessed, that merchant is Mr. Colador. Everything we have in Banjus is literally owed to him. It looks like you really worship Mr. Colador. Of course, and there are lots of stories about him. Let me tell you all about them. Wow, it's really late. Time passes so fast. Because you've been talking non-stop. <laughs> I know I tend to get like that sometimes. <laughs> hey, you're still looking for your friend, aren't you? I'll take you to my friends. Hey, Hilda. Long time no see. Hey, Kelly. How's business? Why? You want your old job back? Huh? I thought you don't like me eating the merchandise on the job. I'm not saying you can't have some, but you do have to do your job first. <laughs> Stop giggling like a fool. So, what brings you here today? A small favor. We're looking for someone called Zeke. If you saw him... Sounds like a handsome young man. Could this Zeke be... you know? Huh? No, not at all. I better keep this from Harry, so I don't break his heart. My poor brother. I told you no! And what does Harry have to do with anything? By the way, where is he? Harry is no kid anymore, so he's in charge of his own shop this year. He should be right below. By himself? That crybaby? You sure that's a good idea? Can't disagree with you there. Well, can you drop by and check on him for me? I'm too busy to go myself. Alright, I'll take care of that while you keep an eye out for Zeke. Of course. Here, two fried chicken meals for you, on the house. Uh, Hilda? Is that really you? Huh? Harry the crybaby? Kelly is worried about you, so she sent me here. Look at you, frowning. What happened? I... I'm not frowning. Nothing happened. Just that there are too many things to do. A new shipment came, but I don't have time to pick it up. There's still a crate of cargo at the port. Are you slacking off again? The shipment came in yesterday. But I can't do it alone. Hilda, <laughs> can you please, please? Hold on right there. I'm not cleaning up after you. No way. Hilda, I can go fetch the cargo. But about Zeke? Oh, fine. It's a fair deal, and Harry can't complain about me bullying him again. Just drop the cargo off at the front of the store. Hey, crybaby, you better thank us for being so nice. I, I'm not a crybaby. I'm not a baby anymore. What? It's done already? Thank you so much. Piece of cake. 
Where did Hilda go? Info. Hilda went to the port to respond to a request for help. The helping request was issued by a girl called Anne. <laughs> Anne's balloon got caught on a streetlight. How long has she been gone? It was just now, about half a minute. You should be able to catch up to her. Hey, you're here. What is it? Why are you upset? I can't seem to reach the balloon up there. You got some moves. Can you help? Leave it to me. Thank you. On behalf of little Anne, it's nice to get something lost back. You're quite a kind person. Well, people gotta be kind to each other, right? Crow came to me just now. He said there was a problem with the lights for the celebration, and we needed to call someone to repair them. Lanner? Who's... <laughs> like fireworks, lanterns are part of the festivity. That's the way every year. Everyone's looking forward to it. But to see both, we have to help Crow fix the circuits. <sighs> I was going to take a break, but since this is for celebration, why don't you come too? Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful, Hilda. You found help. This is my new friend from Astra who volunteered to help fix the lanterns. Hello. What can I do to help? The earthquake shorted out the converters. I'm worried the lanterns will burn out, so I need them inspected. But it's urgent to fix the converter, so can you check the lanterns? Just five of them will do. That's it? I got this. Thanks much. Guess I'll go show Mia around now. Thanks. I just got done myself. <sighs> I made the round, but not sure if I fixed it. Oh, that's easy. See that switch over there? Flip it and see how well you did. Then I shall. things. Please be assured that everything has been arranged, my lady. If they aren't willing to cooperate, you know what to do. Yes, my lady. Go then. We've been followed, and I need to take care of that. Why don't you show yourself? when you ask a question next time. You're finally awake. It seems someone's ambushed you. Was Zeke there? No, I couldn't see Zeke. That woman knew I was following. They seemed to be plotting something, but I couldn't make out what they were saying. Testing. You're in bad condition. I recommend you return to Banja's dock for mending. Hey, where were you? The celebration is almost over. You missed so many fun things. I spotted Zeke. Isn't that who you're after? Did you catch him? No, I lost him. Really? That's too bad. But look at the bright side. At least you know Zeke is here. But... Come on, don't get yourself in a funk. It will get better. 
It's been a long day, so we should stop for now. I'll take you to see Theo at the Banjis headquarters tomorrow. <sighs> All right, it's time for a break, Annie. Follow me. I'll take you to the hotel in town. Welcome. Are you here for a room? We only got one left, and it's at a special holiday rate. Morning! How was your stay last night? I'll take you to the Banjis headquarters now, then. The Banjis tech headquarters? Did they allow non-employees to enter the building? Of course! The residential area is rather lively. Many family members of the employees live there. The manufacturing area is a little more mysterious, though. I wonder if we'll get to see it. Wait, something isn't right. What happened here? I don't know, but looks like some sort of trouble. The defenses are rarely on in Banjis. Don't tell me the Ravagers or Aberrants are coming. But Mr. Colador would have told us to take shelter. What now? Should we still try to find Theo? Yeah, follow me. I know a secret passage in. Looks like a battle took place. Who are the invaders? Heirs of Ida! I've seen them outside of town before. Look, they're capturing people! I'll deal with them. You go hide. Thank you for saving me. Those things attacked us during a celebration last night. Where's security? Is anyone else taking- No idea. The attack caught us all in surprise. I didn't even get a good look at what happened. Go and tell others on the docks. I'll look for survivors. Watch your back. There must be more of them. Are you here to rescue us? Oh, thank heavens. Who are you? And where's Mr. Colador? I work here, but I don't know where Mr. Colador is. Where's security? Why didn't they alert the docks? The heirs of Ida launched the raid at night and caught us by surprise. They also got a lot of plants on the security team. What about the headquarters? Is it taken over completely? I didn't hear any more fighting after the celebration ended last night. So I'm afraid. What's that sound? Oh no, you must have drawn the attention of their main force. Don't worry. I'll handle this. There's just one of them. Great for practice. Swift, go ahead. Don't go. You have to protect us. They don't look too strong, so I should take the initiative. Swift lost? <laughs> no way. Kalina, your turn. Yeah. is something. Let's go in! Are you alright? Did you find Theo? Theo and Colador are very likely trapped in the Bandis Tech Headquarters. I'm about to go in and look around. Let me go with you! No, it's too dangerous. You should go back to town and tell everyone. We can't take on that many intruders alone. Alright, but be careful! Shift here and there. You, you, and you. Keep an eye on the basement. Stop! Who are you? How come I've never seen you before? Guess you didn't have much luck either. I'm Ko, Mr. Colador's assistant. Do you know where he and Theo are being held? I don't. After the heirs of Ida took over the place, they split us up to different places. I'm not sure which room they're in. This is not good. 
Don't worry about that. We should be figuring out how to get out of here. Do you have any ideas? I know the circuits for this room and I can open that door over there. But the guard's outside, however. Leave that to me. You just open the door. Will do. See that disconnected cable? Connect them for me so I can use the control panel. Oh. Don't tell me you're just gonna charge the way out. There are still plenty of guards out there. You have better plans? Why don't you switch clothes with this guy and pretend you're one of them? So you can figure out the exact situation. That will work. What about you? I'll stay behind so they're not alerted. I don't think they can see through my disguise. Are they... I've told you already. You can't... Your security for Banjis? What now? Heirs of Ida send a fool for interrogation? Calm down. I'm not with Heirs of Ida. I'm here to free you, so work with me. You're not one of them? Why should I believe you? Theo invited me. You don't have to believe me, but I'm your only option here. Fine. I'm Leon, Captain of Security. What do you want me to do? I need to know Mr. Colador and Theo's locations. Any clues? I know they're keeping Theo on the second floor, but not sure which room. They set an alarm for the entryway to the second floor. Can you shut it off? There's a switch in the monitor room next door. Luckily, they missed the backup keycard on me. Here, take this. Also, you can fool the guards, but watch out for those aberrated hounds. Those things have sharp noses. The stairway faces the infirmary. You should find anesthetics in there for those hounds. Please don't let me down. You're Mr. Colador and Theo's last hope. The surveillance has been disabled. You can proceed to the next floor. There are sounds coming from the last room. I should take a look. Oh no. Did the dogs catch my scent? Leon says there are tranquilizers in the room on the left side of the second floor. Why are you here? It's not chow time yet. The chief's dogs are hungry, and I'm here to get something to feed them. Weren't they just fed? Fine. There's some leftover meat from yesterday over there. Go grab a chunk. Intruder, my lord. We did not find anyone else. Good. How about Colador's interrogation? Any news? Colador already told us where the Astrum is located, and asked us to free Theo. Pass that information to those that are outside immediately, and ask them to find Astrum. As for Theo, we can't let him go until we have what we want. Yes, sir, I will. Hmm? Who goes there? Guards! Found you at last, Theo. What are you doing here? I'm here to rescue you. Where is Mr. Colador being kept? They locked him in the basement. You go in from the first floor. They wanted to find out something from him. How did you get in with so many guards outside? I ran into a security guy named Leon downstairs. He gave me a key card. Leon's still alive? That's great. Stick close to me, and let's go get your father. No. <laughs> Just leave me here. <coughs> they have the whole place on lockdown. I'll only be your burden. If you can get my father out, he'll come up with a way to save me. Please! Are you okay, Mr. Colador? You? I already handed the Astrum over to the heirs of Ida. I had no choice since they held hostages. We'll worry about that later. Let's get you out of here. What about Theo? Have you seen him? I can't leave my son behind. Theo is being held on the second floor, under tight watch. I didn't get a chance to bring him. Let's go. I must get him out and rally the people on the docks to take the headquarters back.
I heard you're getting into trouble again, kid. How did you get here, Franz? I asked Mr. Franz for help. Do you know each other? Of course we do. What's the situation in there? I found Mr. Colador and Theo, but couldn't free them yet. And the Astrum... Let me guess. Colador handed the Astrium over to the heirs of Ida? How did you know? That's not the only thing I know. Heirs of Ida got a spy on the docks. Too bad he got away before security could get there. Speaking of that, I saw someone whispering surreptitiously in the lower docks before. That might be the spy you mentioned. I'll stay behind to help the guards deal with the leftover heirs of Ida. You and Mia should go for the investigation. Franz, I found these. Hmm, this is getting complicated. What's wrong? We've cleared the building and caught all the intruders, but I didn't find Theo and Mr. Colador. Did the heirs of Ida sneak them away in the chaos? According to one of the captives, the battle began before they even reached Colador and his son. So no one knows where they've been taken to or by whom. The biggest suspect is still the heirs of Ida. The notebook you found points out their local hideouts, and there's quite a lot. I'll check all those places, and hopefully we'll find Theo and others. I'm coming with you! Stop making a scene, Hilda. We've still got other things to do. Oh? What is it? If the heirs of Ida found Astrum already, we'll have to go to Plan B. Colador banned Astrum trading around the local docks, but you can still find reserves in the black market nearby. Hilda, you and Mia come with me. Let's scope out the black market. Act smart about things, okay? What are you trying to get at? That's it then. Dismissed. Any good news? Good, you're here. So, did you find Theo and Mr. Colador? Nope. From the leads I got, it wasn't the heirs of Ida that took them. And the Astrum reserves that Colador told them about was a lie too, is it? And you already know that? Again? It's obvious. Those heirs of Ida were running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Well, I'm at a dead end. What about you? See that guy over there? That's Hopkins. And if I'm correct, he's got Colador's Astrum. He's a notorious smuggler and a devious dealer. You can get all sorts of off-limits contraband in Banj's port from him. Why didn't Mr. Colador lock him up? <laughs> lock him up? The man did a lot of dirty work for Colador. Don't take your Mr. Colador for some kind old guy. Are you saying Mr. Colador slipped Astrum to Hopkins to sell underground for a greater profit? Whoa, don't put words in my mouth. The only way to find out is to talk to that guy. Meaning, you want me to do it? Well, he knows me. And Hilda's too young and green. I bet that she can't even speak in front of that sly fox. So, 